Okay, officials and wannabe officials, it's time for our play of the week for this week. Here we go. Second and two from the defense 42-yard line. Quarterback number three takes a snap, rolls to his left. Looks like there's a little action up top, but then there's a completed pass to number 85, who is now tackled, and there is a flag on the play. So take a look at this play and tell me what you have. There are actually two potential fouls on this play. So do you see them? But guess what? We're going to try something new. We're going to have, we tried it a little bit last week, but I didn't tell everybody about it. We're going to do our polling here on YouTube. So make sure you take the poll. And basically, we've got a potential horse collar tackle. We have a potential defensive hold. We have potential both. Or maybe we have nothing. Make sure you take the poll, share the poll. We'll go over the results next week right here. But be sure to subscribe so that way you never miss a play of the week. So here on last week's play, we were discussing whether or not we should have had an eligibles downfield, a potential offensive pass interference because there's blocking. Well, most of the comments came back that they didn't want this called offensive pass interference because you had a double team and the blockers were engaged from the beginning of the uh, action. So it never really elevated to a advantage-disadvantage situation. All I'm going to say is that I don't necessarily disagree with that. But if you're going to pass on this because the expanded neutral zone in high school football is three yards and they look really close to being beyond that, just know why you didn't call it and make sure you're in position as the wing official or the flank official to know why you're passing on it. Don't pass on it because you guessed or you missed. Just put yourself in the right position and maybe you're going to call this and maybe you won't.